Alright, welcome back to Arcanum, folks. Uh, it's nice to begin a new session without it being such a long time since the last session. A few notes of interest. First off, this is my first Arcanum video since I made some significant hardware adjustments to my recording setup. I had been putting these off for months in the hopes that I wouldn't have to do these for current series because I would have the current series finished, but then I just ended up not making the changes and not finishing the series. So I just bit the bullet, got it done. As a result, my microphone volume is lower. I have, I think as of now, sufficiently compensated for this. I've done some testing with Arcanum. Uh, I think it'll be fine. Uh, but there's a difference between testing and an actual video. I have been doing this hobby for over five and a half years. Uh, also, the, for the first time I ever launched Arcanum, uh, the window it gave me wasn't borderless. So Arcanum actually isn't frozen in the middle of my screen. I could, like, move the game window around. It was staggering. Like, after all this time, to be able to enjoy a window I could move so I can see my little OBS recorder window better, I can have my hotkeys uh, notepad open. It's, these are happy days, folks. Happy days, indeed. Anyway, let's go ahead and load up. Our last save, which had us in the majestic metropolis of Toronto. Now, one thing I wanted to do, actually, uh, and obviously, one of our goals... Uh, oh, we have so many goals. Look at all these things. Uh, a possibility of assassinating a king. We're supposed to find Nazardin. We're supposed to end an orc uprising. Pfft, whatever. As if I care about all these things. Find, like, a cure for a werewolf curse. Look, we've already... According to the game, I'm a damn goody-goody two-shoes, so you know what? Screw this game. I'm sick of being a goody two-shoes. Yeah, I'm a friend of Milwaukee in hand. Yeah. Got, like, various blessings and stuff. Look at me. 988 kills. I was scarred by myself once upon a time. That was a good time. Mingorod was the most powerful and the most evil creature I cr defeated. Let's say created. That just wouldn't be right at all. I have so many rumors. I'm supposed to head to this place called Thanatos, I do believe, in order to continue progressing with the game. And if I talk to Virgil, he'll probably end up saying something like that. So I'm pretty interested in doing that. Let's go what ahead is it that you Virgil. want me? What can I answer for you? We need to get to Thanatos to locate the real grave of Nazardin. This is not going to be an easy task, however. The Isle of Death is aptly named, overrun with monsters, if one believes the tales. Fantastic, good work. Now, uh, I actually want to tour around the world for a little bit. I'm pretty interested in hearing what, uh, Virgil might have to say about various locations. What is it that you want to- What can I answer for you? Of course, we don't have much of an opinion here, and quite frankly, I didn't expect it, but I just thought I'd check to make sure. Let's go visit the Shrouded Hills area, though. Hi, guys. What is it that you want of me? What can I answer for you? Ah, you don't have an opinion about this. Hello, Constable Owens. A pleasure. I don't have anything to tell you. Just wanted to come in and visit. Say hello. How are the kids? How's everything going? It's good. Glad to hear it. Glad to hear it. I mean, we could probably load the game. I could also drink my potions. I do have a few potions. Yeah, just load the game. Or we mean we can just wait an hour. Not a big deal. It's not like we're on a time limit or anything. Let's just uh, spend some time in Shrouded Hills. We save so much time, like, teleporting around anyway. It's not a big deal. Why don't we head to... Let's see what's wrong. Why don't we go to Voridan? Small village here. Hello. I don't really remember this place. What is it that you want? What can I answer for you? Looks like you don't have an opinion about this place. How may I help you? Then I will do my best. Looks like you really- I didn't really ask her for her opinion on Shrouded Hills. Guess that makes me a terrible person. Hello, Gnome Priest. Well, there's an How altar may I here. See the remnants of some writing with the altar is too ruined to make out anything. Well, that is regrettable. Thought we could have a moment there. That's, uh... Where's this Thanatos place? Oh. That's rather telling. Also, oh yeah, that half ogre li laboratory I thing. Yeah, yeah, I kind of remember that. Neat. What is it that you want of me? 
What can I answer for you? Nope. How may I help you? Then I will do my... Hmm. That's unfortunate. Hey. Well, since we're in the neighborhood, where are the docks at here? Can we get, like, a ship to go to Thanatos? Trying to explore to see if there's more dialogue options about various places, and we just haven't seen them. Meager drops. So meager. Much meager. I think I got into a fight and killed an old man around here. It sounds vaguely familiar. It sounds like something I would do. But, you know, I'm a good guy, right? So, why, why would that have happened? Also, maybe I should tell Gilbert Bates something about what's happening in life. The wheel won't turn even a... What's the point of living? Hey, you know where the captain is? Because I don't see a captain here. Alright. Is there a captain aboard this ship? Gah. Yo, you. I like passage to Thanatos. Thanatos? You'll not find anyone fool enough to take ye to that destination round here. Try Blackroot. A place is full of desperate fools. Alright. Do I know of a Blackroot? As a matter of fact, I do know of Blackroot. That's the border town. Neat. Well, uh, before we head there, why don't we uh, pop into Durnholm, capital of Cumbria. Let's see if uh, anyone's got any opinions How may here. I, then I will do... How may I... Then I... Hmm. How may I help? Yes. What would you like me to do? What is it that you want of me? What can I answer for you? Well... This is just disappointing. I tried, everyone. I tried to explore possible dialogue options. I tried to have fun. I'm not allowed. Okay. We're in Black Route now. It has been quite some time since I've been here. I do believe I took train passage here. So that's cool. I'm a powerful mage. I'm a wizard mans. We ain't playing dungeon mans. All right, got some gentlemen over here. Hello, Mr. Speaker. Do you have one for sale? Uh, I can buy a boat. Well, I didn't really read that all the way through. In part because I don't think I want to buy a boat. But if I want to buy a boat, apparently I've haggled the price down to 25000 I am a master haggler, so that's cool. Look at haggling. Saving me 25000 coins if I want to buy my boat. I mean, it's cheaper than a Daggerfall. Like, the last session I had a Daggerfall, I bought a boat for 200,000 gold pieces. So 25,000 gold pieces in exchange. Not that big of a deal. Hey. Ah. Well, I suppose if I bought a boat, I could go to Thanatos all I fucking wanted. I'd have to sell some of my magic items, though. I'd have to... Like, Plump wants me to hoard. Like, all of those items, I'm sure. Maybe I can find, like, a desperate captain who's crazy enough to do that shit. Hey. You. Who are you? Killian... Do you hear that? Good day. Is there a teach? Captain Edward Teach. Well, well. If it... Right. We spoke with you before. I made a joke about your name. I really can't... Weren't you the guy who sailed me to... Ah, it's just been too long. I know we spoke with you before. So, what's happened at the teach? I lost me boat, matey. Went and got too drunk one night and found myself a gambling with Killian Drake. Killian, huh? Huh. <laughs> Guess Junktown's safe. An old sea captain who knows his way around a dice game. Learn about a uh, casino gambling from Gizmo. He played me, matey. He played me a fool and I lost me boat. 
Do you think he cheated? Oh, I don't know if an old Drake's a cheat. He's just lucky. About the luckiest old sea dog I ever did meet. I can't be calling a man a cheat just because the dice landed his way. Uh, well, I'm in need of a boat to the island of Thanatos. I really wish I could help you, matey, but uh, I no longer have the gypsy shadow. What happened? Uh, where is this Drake? Right. Hey, help. Thanatos, that's even crazier than wanting to go to the Isle of Despair, but I'm figuring it's important, and I know it's the way Mr. Bates would want it. I guess that's the name of the captain who sailed me to uh, the prison island. Just didn't remember his exact name. I suppose there are a couple different ways you might get there. One, you could buy a boat from the shipbuilder here in Bat Black Root, which ain't cheap. And my other option, he appears to be, uh, oh. Might be able to get a dice game with old Drake, but he's no rubber leg when it comes to the dice. I have nothing in gambling. And uh, you wouldn't even play with me, I suppose. Alright, the other solution? Well, I'm a little leery of even mentioning it. It's not something I even like to think about, much less spill out of me blowhole. But you seem to need some help, and I owe you one. Yeah? Did I ever tell you the story of how I came to the Gypsy Shadow? No, you wouldn't tell me of it before. It's just as well that I didn't tell it, but I'll say that I ended up with a gypsy shadow on account of the most cold-blooded murdering pirate who ever sailed the seas of Arcanum, and his name was Stringy Pete. <laughs> Stringy Pete. Alright. Well, there's a legend about him, and I know it to be true. You see, old Pete died more than 200 years ago, but legend has it he still s sails the seas, a-haunting those souls who'd be unlucky enough to run across him. Well, what are you saying? I'm saying I've seen his boat, and I know it to be real. If you could get his boat without getting yourself run through by his ghost, you'd have yourself a boat. Well, how do you find a ghost pirate's boat? Years ago, I found a secret cove, and there on the beach was with an unmarked grave. Unmarked except for the sign of the evil eye, which is the sign Stringy Pete used to carve on his victims. I got out of there fast, without even looking for treasure. That could have been the place where he was buried, and if it was, it said most spirits return to their graves. Well, I could find some clues there. Yes, matey, I'll agree. I agree. Here, I'll mark the your map with the location of the cove. Looks like you have a few options. Buying, gambling, or stringy peak. I don't like any of them, but good luck. Well, I certainly have enough magic items to afford 25,000 gold pieces. Uh, courtesy of the power of gambling. Oh. Courtesy of the power of, uh, haggling plus hoarding. Now, I can't do the gambling option. I mean, I'm a haggle master, but I'm a same category gambling nobody. I also have the spare point here. I remember that, that sniping comment about my lack of intelligence I got ever so long ago. Yeah, well, who's laughing now? I'm actually thinking about like doing something silly like increasing beauty. <laughs> or my charisma, you know, heaven forbid. Maybe I'll just hoard the point. I don't need a level. I remember back whenever I increased melee a bit thinking I could be like a spell sword or something. I remember back when I was increasing persuasion. I remember all these spells I got. You know, some of which are more useful than others. Like this whole... This whole death category. Like this whole quench life thing and create undead. It's all for the birds. Like just two categories and necromantic black. Is really what it is. And then you need to go into that time magic. Holy shit, that time magic. You get some hasten on you. And then, you know, you get teleportation to save yourself some travel time, and then you can identify your own items. Just gotta get that, uh, of course, uh, magic tech meter up to max, at least for a mage type. And my alignment is, uh, flawless. Yeah, this was like Knights of the Old Republic 2, which I will be getting to on this channel, because it was a request. You know, I get, like, extra force points, or whatever you get for being maximum light side. You get that for Maximum Dark Side too. Whatever, that's an entirely different game, and that's not what we're here for. At any rate, maybe we'll go see what we can do about this stringy Pete, though. You know, I'm so damn interested in this game that I'm curious about exploring this. I mean, hell if I can remember where he said it was, though. I was hoping it'd just be, it's here. Boop. Well. Cool. Now, I don't know where you're supposed to run in order to get to the cove. Let's go over here, though. Well. Do we need the shovel for this? 
Is this a shovel moment? Well, I don't really see any way what to interact with to things. Give me the shovel. No, it's not really a shovel moment. All right. Take it back. And I've already forgotten what spell I put on there. I think it was uh, one of this category. All right, well, anyway. Oh. <laughs> That's kind of awkward. Hi. <laughs> How's it? How's it going, Stringy Pete? Come here, Dofton. Level 50? Holy shit! You have a voice? You see a spirit in front of you. It is a skeleton dressed in tattered rags and a large black hat and wielding an evil looking saber. Its eyes glow with unholy eye light. Arr! Who be treading upon me grave? Who be trying to get their hands on me treasure? Prepare to die, ye land-loving goat bugger. No one sees the evil eye, old Stringy Peen lives. Ah! Uh... <laughs> oh man, that's tempting. Wait, I'm not here to take anything though. I just want to talk. Talk? What would a rubber-legged bilge fish like you want to be talking about with the ghost of Stringy Pete? I've been sailing the seas of Arcanum for more than 200 years, and I drink blood ale and gnaw on the bones of priests and maidens. I not be a look in the talk. Please, I just need a moment to explain. To explain? But you be needing to explain, matey. You be digging around me bones and looking for me treasure. To a pirate, that'd be worse than a finding you baiting your hook with me wife. <laughs> look, I'm only here because I need your boat. Me boat? I've cared for me wife less than this boat. Why in the name of all that's unholy would I give you your boat, me boat? You're speaking gibberish, and I had more than an earful of it. A soul as tormented as my own has got little patience for the blubberings of the living. <sighs> Christ in a hat. Look, I'm going to try to be diplomatic here with my persuasion skills. I'm really a necromancer. At your level 50, so I'm pretty tempted to fight you. I'm not gonna lie. I'm really tempted. Because that would be fun. Tormented, though. Don't you enjoy being a bloodthirsty pirate ghost? Enjoy it. The ghost seems a little surprised at the question, the fire in its eyes dimming a little. Are you daft, matey? I was the crustiest, meanest, most bloodthirsty pirate who ever lived. And none of what I did when I was alive compares to the things I've seen dead. I... I don't understand. You don't want to be here? No, but I've got no choice. I was cursed, matey. Cursed from the day I died to sail the seas forever. A haunt those souls who be taken my name in vain. To strike terror in the purer heart. To be given little ones nightmares. I cursed? Cursed by whom? I cursed myself. I spilled the blood of innocence. Desecrated holy places and... The worst thing I ever did. I broke a pirate's blood oath. Even without the first two, I deserve what I got because of the last. I shouldn't even call myself a pirate after what I did. This really hurts my voice, my throat. And what sort of things have you seen, Stringy Pete? I see all the souls of the dead who walk this world. Don't you move up there, son. And I see the souls of all me victims, and they torment me as I still be a torment in the living. And it be their pain I feel every day and every night on these glassy seas, and their dead eyes that be staring out at me from their murky depths. I really don't do it. I don't do a faux pirate. I do like a faux faux pirate. Well, is there any way to break this curse? Break the curse? The ghost is silent for a moment, contemplating. And why would you want to do that, matey? Why would one such as ye want to be helping the evil ghost, old Stringy Pete? Your boat, Captain. I need your boat. Tell him your story. That'd be quite a story. It's amazing how we just flew through all that time without the sun even moving up there in the sky. 
and one I'd not be inclined to believe when I was flesh and blood. But shatter me squid's beak, if and I haven't seen Stranger Things since. Perhaps there is something we might do here. I think I'm turning him slowly into Starscream. Any help you might have would be greatly appreciated, Captain. Well, I can't be given up this boat on account of the curse. It'd be my fate to sail these old tempers until the end of time. But I know a way we might break that curse, if you'd be willing to do a little legwork. <laughs> Figures. <laughs> I could just buy my way out of this legwork, just throw 25,000 gold pieces, but I am in an exceptionally good mood right now, man. Oh, uh, yeah, sure. What do you want to have done? Well, there'd be three things. Of course there's three things. What is this, Planescape Torment? Even my suspicions are correct. Three wrongs to right, and the curse will be broken. Well, tell me of them. Which of them do you want to hear about? All of them. The first be an easy task. I told ye, I killed many an innocent in me time. A good and pure man by the name of Jonas Williamson. Oh, Jonas. Killed him for the silver buckles on his boots, but mostly for the sport of it. I laughed while he bled into the gutter, crying out to me that I spare his family. That's pretty vicious, Pete. How do you make that right? Well, his family, they fell on hard times without him, and the Williamson's been poor ever since. You'll need to dig up my treasure, including those silver buckles, and give it to whoever is left of the Williamson's. My treasure is buried a little north of here. He points to an area just north of where you are. Uh, where are the Williamson's? Here, I'll show ye on your map. The ghostly finger points to a location on the east coast of Arcanum. I know they still live there. I've sailed by there in the years as I've died. It'd not be a nice place. Anything else? Yes, don't be thinking you can keep some of the treasure for yourself. These curses, they be old and smart, and if you be trying to cheat them, then I'm still gonna be sailing these seas, and then I'm gonna be a-coming after ye. Savvy that, matey? Uh... This is all dreadfully complicated. Perhaps I'll just destroy you. Sure. And the other tasks? The second task. That might be a little more complicated. There be a temple in the hills just off the Gulf of Morbihan and in a little town called Vuriden. And many years ago I was a pillager in the surrounding countryside. And I broke into the place and stole some holy relics and desecrated their sacred altar. And sure enough those old monks threw a curse on me. Alright. What needs to be done? They didn't care about the holy relics, but I'd be thinking they might have gotten their robes in a bundle over the altar. You see, I spilled some wine and ale all over it, and I might even relieve myself on it. It'd been a long night, you know. I can see where they might have a problem with that, sure. Yeah, they weren't a singing hymns when we left. Anyway, that altar of theirs, I think it needs to be replaced. You'll have to talk with the monks there to find out what needs to be done. Savvy? Here's where the temple is, he showed you on your map. Uh, and the other tasks? The third one. The last task will be the most difficult. You see, as I was getting on in years, there was nothing I hadn't done, and nowhere I hadn't sailed, and no treasure I hadn't laid me hands on. There was only one thing I wanted, and I wasn't even sure if it existed, and I made it my business to find out. Which was... The Vangelian Scourge? Oh, what the fuck is that? What the fuck is that? The Vangelian... The Bang Alien? The Bang Scourge is the most evil piece of weaponry ever wielded by any soul in the land of Arcadum. Legend says it was forged in the blood fires of the Bang Deeps, and that virgins and children were thrown into the fire to keep it st- <coughs> <coughs> mm. Interesting. <laughs> the ghost hesitates a moment. Seeming to stare at you from the sightless dust of its skull. And it be said that the Bane of Cree cut down a whole battalion of elven warriors with it before he was banished. And that Lorik wielded it during the Dwarven clan wars. And that any but the most evil of a people die at the mere sight of it. Sounds like an evil blade for sure. Yes, matey. And an evil blade it be. I wanted it more than anything in the all of Arcadum. And I planned on getting me hands on it. Oh, what happened? 
At the time, I had me a crew of seven of the most black-hearted and soulless pirates, and they all agreed it was a fine piece of treasure to go after, and we took a pirate's blood oath to stand by one another's share in the treasure. And so we searched Arcadum for it, and found it one day we did, in the swamps of the Dark Fins, down in the Bang Deeps. And then, it'd been buried there for centuries. A beautiful sight. Yes, Java. I'm sure you have to update. We'll talk later, okay, Java? <sighs> now that notification's gonna... Oh, no, it went away. I thought I was gonna keep my start menu up. How about that? It bothers me. All right. It's blade as black as Oryx, and carved in ancient rune work, and I held it in the hands, and it called to me. What did you all do with it? We all did nothing, matey. That night... When everyone was asleep, that cursed blade twisted my mind and it told me that my crew was mutinous and looking to get rid of me. And so I killed them all in their sleep, matey. Cut all their throats from ear to ear. When I woke in the morning and seen what I'd done, I threw the blade down and ran right out of there. And the bang scourge? It still lies there, as far as I know, among the murdered bones of a crew. You must destroy that evil blade. At the bottom of the cave that we found it in is a great furnace. Mount Doom? Toss it in there and let the world be done with it. Here's where the deeps be. Well, if I lay sight on it, isn't it supposed to kill me? I'm not exactly the most evil of people. He points to an area on your map in the northernmost part of Arcanum. And the other tasks? Uh, I've heard them all. Is there anything else? That's all, matey. Will ye help me? If ye you do these things, I give ye me word as a pirate that I'll give ye me ship. She's old, but there's not a better vessel that's, that ever sailed our KMCs. Well, we know what Stringy Pete's done to his ward. Yeah, sure, I'll do it. I wish ye luck on your quest, matey. If in ye finish these tasks and return here, I'll give ye me boat and me thanks. Maybe I'll do that to you. All right. Gurmuth needs a drink. <laughs> now, we'll go ahead and save here. We talked. We had a nice little pleasant chat with Stringy P. Let's go ahead and save that. And the fact that we had a chat with Stringy P. I wonder, though, even by chance I kill him. He's courteous towards me. Would I be able to take control of the ship? I mean, these tasks seem to be pretty straightforward. He gave me locations. I can teleport to them just fine. But call me curious. He's level 50. Not that I'm surprised. You know, it is a harm spell. It's a dark necromancy spell. Do I have another attack spell? That's awkward. Uh. Uh. I suppose I don't, huh? I don't think Unseen Force does a whole lot in this situation. Well, it could push him back. I might have to push him back. We'll see how it goes. I, uh, I can't nuke him like I can I mean, well. I mean, I did, what, two damage to him? That scratched him a little bit. Let's see how bad his health is. Let's hit him with another one. Okay. Yeah, I can kill him. Okay, I did, like, five damage. Yeah! Yeah, I got this. I ain't scared. 
Yeah, we got this. Let's use our crazy powers, guys. Let's see how bad this goes. How many AP does he have? Meow, see, meow. All right, you get the fuck away from me, sir. I didn't do shit to him. Hmm. That's really awkward. Hmm. Not really sure how we... It'd probably just be better to just keep nuking him, huh? Well. Protect me! That sound effect isn't annoying at all. Fucking water elemental, it's a time bomb. Might do if, uh, to cast some haste on some other people. Probably won't kill me. won't kill me. <laughs> wow. Wow. That was... Where the fuck did those guys come from? Alright. Alright. That was pretty fun. I'm glad we had that moment together.